Hello. Look at this cool lock. It's the Urban Alps Stealth Key, first generation. And if you look at the key, you understand the name Stealth Key because the bitting is hidden inside the key. And the idea is that if uh, you have a lock like this and you leave your keys uh, inside, no one will be able to decode them from a picture because the bitting is hidden. Um, Urban Alps, the company that makes the stealth key, doesn't uh, exist anymore. Uh, only two generations of this lock were made, and this is the first one. Um, and gener uh, 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 generation two was the last one that was made. Um, well, it's a tricky pick. Um, it's a sort of a lever lock uh, with seven levers on the left, seven on the right, and um, a sidebar on the left and a sidebar on the right. Um, but I can show you that after I manage to pick it. So let's try to do that right now. There are only three bitting heights. Oh, I got a little bit of a faucet. Now I'll just have to figure out if everything is in a true gate, because there are false gates. Only true bitting heights. Uh, there are true zero lifts, uh, mid lifts, and max lifts. And only the max lift, if, unless you make a mistake only the max lift uh, you have to deal with um, false gates Dropped some stuff. Okay, I think everything on the right is set now. So let's switch tensioners and go to the other side. Well, that was fast. Um, what I did this time is, because the, ma the max lifts are the hardest to set, especially the last max lift, and so what I tried now, and obviously I succeeded, was uh, preset the max lift on lever 5, which is the only max lift on this side. Uh, and that obviously was enough to, uh, to pick the lock. So, let's lock it up again and gut.
first get the clip off. I was struggling with that at first, but I found a way that makes that easier. I just push on one side and it rotates off. Um, and the key. First, uh, there are two pins uh, for uh, plug retain uh, uh, retention, I think I've heard somewhere that I'll have to get out first. that and hold the sidebars okay let's get this sidebar fir first don't lose any springs um, put that one there Tweezers. Tweezers are magnetized a little bit. Right. Um, that's as far as I can get. So let's show some stuff. Zoom in a bit. I'll start with the sidebars. They are identical. And this is where they interact with the gates and they bite hard the other sidebar is the same as you notice there is one thinner part over here um, that interacts uh, with um, oh, that goes to the front of the lock. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, that seems to be the way. The housing, where let's just look for the back here, you can see the grooves for the sidebar, and that's where the two pins go. Well, the springs are probably still in there. Yep, that's one spring. And two springs. Alright. But other than that, nothing special. And now for the fun part the plug here you can see the let's get a flag the levers seven on the on each side and this is where the sidebar goes and you can see if I push a lever uh, the true gauge it is now in its place. It also looks very nice when you use the key. And now everything is aligned on the other side as well. Uh, 
a very cool idea, very different from uh, uh, other stuff. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the Miwa U9, uh, only that one doesn't have the hidden bitting, of course. Very cool look, and I'm very happy I was able to get one, and of course, that I was able to pick it. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. Let's get a close up. Not that there's a lot to see. Have a nice day.